Hey guys, it is uh, Saturday, May the 18th of 2024, and I wanted to do a recap on a forecast I did on natural gas. As you can see right here, I saved it January 17th of 2024. Back testing, I call it. Pretty much what it was is that I forecasted for the next three months of February, March, and April see what could possibly play out for natural gas and that was right here so like when i did that all of this was unknown as you can see you got a little clue we had 263 close of friday but when i did this forecast i was kind of speculating using uh, the master chart to kind of give me clues or ideas of where natural gas could possibly go and using seasonality and everything i was kind of going out on a limb and just kind of forecast so i was kind of leaning that maybe february and march uh maybe even april could be a low but that we were going to bottom out somewhere around here and then eventually it was going to go higher so these are the tools that i use now i'm going to open up so pretty much would you see the pink when the forecast was made this is all unknown and this is all the data that we have as long as you know that this is the line in the sand and it was January 4th and at the end of this video I'm going to include that video and one thing is that I noticed is that when I did the forecast and I used neural net I want to focus on neural net the computer doing the forecasting is that when it forecasted the low or possible low it forecasted uh, February the 19th and we know we did a low February 20th at $1.52 so when I did this forecast, it was January 17, uh, Neural Net was forecasting February 19 for a possible low, and, I, and I'll show you, and then the projection line went up all the way to like April the 26th. So I'm going to show you something that I'm going to include in my analysis when I use Neural Net, three ways to use Neural Net, but we're going to focus on, on the forecast and what I used. So we're going to first start off with our spectrum cycle analyzer and we're going to now open up the price of what actually happened so when i was looking at the spectrum cycle analyzer it was kind of telling me the blue line there could be a possible low somewhere around february but just in case it's not going to play out there's another one lining up here in march so we do like a bounce and then maybe a capitulation in march that was all in the thesis and in the analysis, or a fail new low. We never tested a uh, dollar fifty two of the February twenty low, so it just kind of went sideways. And somewhere around here, around April the twenty fifth, things started turning to the upside. So I started out with my spectrum cycle analyzer, and that's what was kind of telling me there. The next one I use is a, a, what I call a PC cycle. This one didn't play out that well. Uh, I was looking for, you know, in regards to direction to go up, and that didn't play out. It topped out at, you know, March the 24th. Nothing there, kind of pop, you know, just sideways. So this one kind of became a dud. This one didn't work out or help me. Uh, another one I was looking at, I believe this is a, another PC cycle. And there were some correlations there, but then it kind of got out of sync here. Like here it topped out and then pushed down. And this is somewhere around the, uh, what, the 22nd, 23rd. And so far it's going up. So this one was a little, I guess you could maybe say erratic. It was kind of hard to de decipher. Uh, maybe you could look at it. It was just pretty much chop fest, but not giving me, you know, good definite clues. Uh, that you know we were gonna we we're gonna go up. So this one was kind of hard. The second one I looked at. This is another PC cycle, and the same thing. It was pointing up. We were just kind of going sideways. Kind of hard to pick any kind of direction or swing or pivots. So this one didn't help out. So far, the one that helped out was the Spectrum Analyzer. This one was pretty good. This one could probably would have worked out, but it was hard for me to trade it. This is the annual cycle. So now this is interesting. This one bottomed out somewhere around this uh, February the 10th. 
And then this cycle is just kind of grinding high and going up. And now you can see that this cycle peaks around the 19th. Uh, so it's going to be interesting where we at. There was a date I was watching the 17th. And then this cycle goes down. So this one is kind of still interesting, even though it's going up. And we went sideways in April 26th. Then we started going up. So I want to see if there's a pullback coming up this week in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, to see if this is going to follow this cycle down all the way to like June the 20th. Keep an, keep an eye on that. And I'm going to leave the neural neck cycle for last. Let's see. So this is the Bradley, classical Bradley model. This He uses a lot of interesting things. And I'm not going to get into it. You can look it up on the uh, internet if you want. Uh, Bradley, classical Bradley model. Or Bradley barometer, whatever you want to call it. Classical Bradley, geo. Whatever you want to type in, I'm sure something's going to come in that's going to kind of, kind of give you clues of what this model is all about. But nonetheless, from here, I started noticing that there is some kind of pattern in here. And there's like some important turning point here on the 25th. We kind of bottomed, but really didn't really do much. It was just kind of chopping sideways uh, until we came here within this box right here. And then things just kind of shifted. You can see that now uh, it goes up and somewhere around the 25th, it kind of pulls back down. Uh, June 11th, it kind of goes up. And then somewhere around the July 5th, it goes down. So I'm going to see how this is going to play out. I don't know, can I put that up there? Yeah. So I wonder if this is where things are going to turn to the uh, from the upside, which is February the 20th, uh, uh, March. Sorry, May the 24th. I got all these days confused. So it's a Friday. So keep that in mind there. And then lastly, this is the model I wanted to show you. Well, one more, maybe the Fourier uh, analyzer. So you see that uh, if you look at the video, uh, at the end of this video, you can look at the uh, forecast when I was using uh, January the 17th. It was indicating February the 19th. For some reason, it shifted uh, as price action came and started going in the future. I, I can't tell when it shifted, but I know when I did the video, it was forecasting February the uh, 19th, a uh, possible low. And then this one is still correct. It still holds the uh, April 26. And I can't remember, I wasn't looking too far, if uh, 6 3, June 6 was going to be another uh, turning point. But when you look at my video, you see that it's indicating a low on the 13th. So I don't know if that's a glitch in the, uh, in the, in the program. But nonetheless, <clears throat> the original forecast was the 19, and it was a day off. So it was not bad, the neural net. Uh, using it for trading. Now, what I find interesting is that I've been using this model and I use it two ways. Um, one for possible turning points and also directional. So you can see directional wise, it was indicating possible prices grinding higher all the way to April the, the 26th. Uh, but we know that it didn't really grind higher, but it went sideways. But what happened around April the 26th? The consolidation ended. So I'm going to show you three ways where you could use you could use neural net in your trading, meaning you use the computer with all your other analysis and all your other technique, but you have this as a a side copilot trading with you. So we know that it picked the uh, low, but we don't know if this is going to play out. So a clue for you is that if you see a pattern like this going up, but you see price action just going sideways, it could be very possible that the consolidation ends in this point. So you could use it as directional. You could use it as a, a consolidation timing point. Or you could use it as turning points no matter what the price action is doing. So even if it goes like this and then it continues going down, 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 tanking all the way to like 50 cents or whatever. 
you could use that as a turning point, even if it's going the opposite way. So, in the future, what do we have? June the 3rd. So now that I know this worked, and I know this worked, what, what could be the possible scenarios using this algorithm uh, forecasting? Well, one is that if we just continue grinding higher, uh, June the 3rd could possibly be a, 30, a turning point. Anywhere between June the 3rd, you know, the 2nd, the 4th, uh, even June the 6th, my birthday. So however you look at it, look at it kind of in that lens. Now, if it turns here, you know, it could be where we could just, you know, turn and go up. It could be a turning point, you know, like going like that and going up. But either way, if it continues grinding higher, and then you see a big spike down around the June 3rd, it could be possible that that is our turning point and it could go down. Um, another thing is that if that play, or another thing is, is that if it just you know, peaks here, or whatever, it could just go sideways. You know, it's not going to turn down. It just goes sideways all the way to what? July the 4th. Uh, is that J July the 4th? And then turn. So there's a couple of ways that I'm just kind of showing you, just looking outside the box. Uh, but just look at, just look at it in sense of like turning point, beginning of consolidation, uh, or if it turns here, another turning point higher. So there's a couple of ways to look at it like this, uh, like this, or like this. And then once you hit July the, the 4th, either turn down or end of consolidation and grind higher. It's kind of weird, right? But that's how this played out pretty much. You know, you see it like that, doesn't play out. But once we hit 426, things change. So those are my three ways of looking at neural net. And lastly, I hope I didn't bore you, but I kind of love this kind of stuff. This is the stuff I, uh, I love. So from here, you can see that there was a couple of crossovers on the uh, overtones. And they were very, this one didn't work out. This is the 15. There was a crossover here. There was nothing really there. So there was no crossover here. This is using one setting here. Did have a crossover here and things just started going higher. The next crossover that's coming is somewhere around uh, June. You could say June the 16th. There's a few of them here, but pretty much over here, this is all, op all open space. So this is one setting I use of the Fourier analyzer, the overtone crossovers. Now this is the last one, so, and I can't remember which setting this one is, but you can see that right here was February the 20th, or low. And we had some crossovers here, see the spike down. So there was a crossover here, the 27th, nothing really there. The next crossover was here, kind of went sideways here. Uh, another crossover here on 402. And it didn't pick the spike low, but there was a crossover here, and then things really kind of started going up. And now we're entering another crossover, which is pretty much this week coming up. It's kind of tight. I can't really tell. It's not like exactly like this, where you can just see a crossover. You can just put it right there. It'll be like somewhere around the 13th of March. But this one is kind of elongated, so it's kind of hard. So it'll be interesting to see how it's going to play out. But keep an eye on for next this week coming up. Uh, if this is going to be a turning point. If not, your next crossovers that are coming is going to be somewhere around June. So using this, and you can say maybe June the 22nd, there's going to be a couple of crossovers. Using this with the neural net, uh, you got some definitely some dates to uh, keep an eye on. But hopefully you like this video. But I just wanted to show you uh, the uh, forecast. So far, uh, it was pretty good you know, in my opinion, even though we consolidated here, but it, it paid off the, the chop and the, and the up and down and the head fakes to ride this wave higher. 
I'm going to include this video once this ends. You can kind of see the forecast that I did, you know, when I was doing it in January the 17th. And now let's see how natural gas plays out. Hopefully you continue grinding higher. I know there's a lot of manipulation and a lot of people probably don't like natural gas going this high, but it is what it is. I'm going to sign out and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on natural gas.